Hey guys, we gotta leave in five minutes. This is gonna end in a meltdown, and if you want help on a super simple shift that you can implement today, keep watching. There is a fundamental clash of perspectives between the adult brain and the child brain when you're trying to transition. This dad is future oriented. You know how I know? He said, hey guys, five minutes and then we're leaving. His language is focused on what comes next. You know what the kid's brain is focused on? What they're doing right now. And so though he gave them 10 minute, five minute, two minute, one minute, it ended up getting so hard that he had to turn the video off. I see this play out over and over again when families give me videos of them trying to leave places, trying to transition from a preferred activity to a less preferred activity. You've got to work with your child's brain, not against it, okay? So focus on what they're focusing on. I want you to say instead of five more minutes till we leave, five more minutes to play. Then I want you to join your child. I want you up in that bouncy house, especially for the last minute, okay? This dad is halfway there. He let him know, 10 minutes, five minutes. He gave himself time and space. He prepared that there might be some resistance, but he didn't shift his perspective to match theirs. This is a tiny shift to make. This dad wants to make it easy. He was trying to give the cognitive support to his kids so that they know it's coming so they're gonna be able to cooperate. But until you deliver the information in a way that matches their experience of the world, it's gonna keep being tricky. He's got a slow way down. He's got a shift to their perspective and now he's got one kid who's a negotiator, okay? That's the kid he's gotta focus on. Now, dad has set himself up to have some extra time in case the boys don't want to leave, which is excellent. Great. Set yourself up that way. Um, because I know that one of these kids is a negotiator, I'm going to be probably pretty firm with the time that we're leaving. I might say, hey, you know what? It's an extra minute day or it's an 11 minute day instead of a 10 minute day. But um, most of the time, I'm going to be pretty firm and I'm going to hold that firmness by getting close. I don't know what this dad was doing in between the video clips, but... I bet he would have been more successful if he got a whole lot closer. I'm talking arm's distance. He was like a couple body lengths away when he gave the initial direction. Um, you got to get closer. The next thing I want you to do is use melodic intonation. So the one that I use is five, four, three, two, one. I always say it that way. My kids are six, eight, and eight. Okay, you can also say, um, you could also start singing directions. So it's like, now it's time to get to car, get to car, get to car, right? Depending on the age of your kids, you just adjust to them. You also adjust to their profile, right? So they're like pop songs, use a pop song, pop song theme song. But the main thing here, in my opinion, is position and making sure you match your child's perspective. Two more minutes to play.